Okay, my friends, they're finally starting to come around. Are quarks about to rewrite the laws of physics? Well, the laws of physics absolutely need to be rewritten. Quarks are just a word for something meaningless that is an accumulation of particles called muon and electron neutrinos, the smallest particles that exist, but everything is made out of those. One's black and one's white. One has all the mass, the black one, and it only has energy when it moves and pushes things out of the way. The white has all the energy, it burns and it glows and burns, it has no mass, no mass whatsoever. It doesn't weigh anything. The white part is literally electricity, static, lightning. It's, it's electricity, it's the white part that you need to charge your battery up with. And it has no weight whatsoever, none, zero. You charge your car up, if it weighs 4,000 pounds, you charge it up, it still weighs 4,000 pounds. You run it all day long, it's empty, it still weighs 4,000 pounds. You charge it back up, 4,000 pounds. Where did all the energy come from? Energy came from that white particle which has no mass, and I can easily prove that, and I will right now. Okay, dipole electron flood theory covers this elegantly. They're saying, I asked, what are quarks made of? What's a quark? What is a quark made out of? Quarks, as we know them, are elementary particles, meaning they don't have any constituents. They're just all by themselves. And it says matter is made up of quarks. And then it has a colon here. Protons, neutrons, and quarks are the basic components of all matter. There are six over there are six quarks overall, which are separated into three pairs. No, there aren't. There's a muon and electron neutrino. That's it. Quarks are just a name they threw in. And it, it keeps evolving and changing. Quarks used to be there's three quarks. Now it's all there's this and there's that. Now we're finding this and that and it all and now and now it's they realize it's all dipoles. They're coming they're just trying to nibble into this so that they can take credit for something, as far as I can determine. You see, this This is what they've always claimed. It was up, down, and whatever, to, to three little quarks inside of a proton. There's the proton. These are made of these quarks. Well, that's not true. They're made of 1,839 dipoles in a ball like this. Every one of these is a little tiny magnet, just like these are. And they ball together in a stable units called atoms. And that's just more and more particles, and then at a certain point, they get stable. Less than that, they're unstable. More than that, they're, they're, they're unstable. So here's stability. Here's unstable. It wants more. Or sometimes it wants to give more up, and then it can go down. That's a, a down decay. Sometimes it'll, it'll have so many that it wants to go up to the next level, and then that's an, I call that an atomic bump. And that happens primarily because of enzymes. Enzymes can do what's called nu nucleosynthesis. They can break down the nucleuses and reconstruct them. That's what, that's what enzymes do. And there's a lot that's just totally missed and not understood because they have to understand biology, chemistry, physics, dipole electron flood theory. You have to understand all that. This is just not right. Let's watch this. Quarks explained in one minute. Let's see if this makes sense. Okay, here we go. They're going to explain quarks in 52 seconds. And um, here's what they have to say. What are quarks? Here goes. Quarks are the ultimate building blocks of visible matter in the universe. If we could zoom in on an atom in your body, you would see that it consists of electrons swarming in orbits around a nucleus of protons and neutrons. And if we could zoom in on one of those protons or neutrons, we'd find that they themselves are made up of a trio of particles that are so small that they have almost no size at all and are little more than points. These point-like particles are the quarks. Quarks are elementary particles. Like electrons, they are not made up of any other particles. You could say that they are on the ground floor of the standard model of particle physics. It turns out that there are actually six types or flavors of quarks in total. Besides the up, down and the strange quarks, there are also charm, top and bottom quarks. 
<laughs> that's supposed to be the explanation for quarks? No, that's just not right at all. That's what they say. The standard model is totally wrong. It's just wrong. It's not, never going to work. And the speed of light is very variable. Light is a particle. Light has a huge field around it. And as I said, half of light has no weight whatsoever, and the other half of light is all the weight. Let's, I assure you this is actually happening with an atomic bomb. Okay, this is extremely slow motion from a video I did showing an atomic bomb going off. And here's what an atomic bomb literally is made of. It's so compressed with particles, there's so much mass, so in a confined space, it's so heavy that it just wants to fall apart. And then they take explosives and they wrap it in and compress it and then it comes out. First thing that comes out is all the white stuff because that exp exp just goes like crazy. Then the black comes and follows it. The white will hit the house and just vaporize the house. And then the black will come after it and knock the house over. The white has no mass and it is the electricity that burns things and runs a car. Watch. Like I said, this is running very slow. So I'm pointing things out. Now, I'm going to stop this here and there. It just, the, the bomb just went off. All we're seeing is brightness. We're seeing this whole house is just going to burn like this. The shingles, everything. And the w poles, the wiring, everything burns up. All right, so let's go. And, and this is just nothing's moved. You're not seeing anything move. It's just smoke. It's just smoking up. The poles, the curtains... The shingles, the wiring, everything is burning up. Again, this is extremely slow motion. In real life, that would have happened much quicker. But now comes the black. That shows you that the white has no mass and has all the energy. We just saw it. There's no way you can deny that. Zero deniability there. All right, boom. When it goes off, all you're going to see is white. All you're going to see is white. And then the white is infused. So what is actually happening? I just stopped it. What is really happening? The only possible takeaway from this is that the outer edge, the, rock, the core, has gone first. And that, I say, is the outside wrapping of the white particles and it's on everything everything there is is wrapped in white particles when you get to the mass of atomic bomb you got a ton of black in there just a and it's sucking in a ton of white and then when you force everything together it like makes that go bounce go uh, go bounce it's a go bounce it's not just a bounce it's go bounce and go bounces and the outside bounce goes and is all the particles that have all the heat the black particles have no heat whatsoever. Zero, and it's zero heat. They're nothing but weight. Pew, knocks the house over. All right, just keep your eye on it. Watch. He's smoking up. Nobody's going anywhere. The wires are smoking. Everything's smoking. And then here comes the black. There he goes. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile, that's done. And that's because the black matter came. Two separate pieces to every bit of matter is the black and the white. Don't forget, this is what they're talking about. Are quarks about to rewrite the laws of physics? No, dipole electron flood theory has written, rewritten them long ago, and now they are proven. Since I did, I got our papers about this for years and years and years. But in 1970, after I first got out of the Army, after working in the nuclear missile sites, uh, I had the theory that there had to be dipoles. It couldn't be the way they wanted for the standard model. It didn't work. And they say that's true. By analyzing nuclear beta decays, which is as these things fall apart, that's a decay, all right, Physicist seeks to clarify inaccuracies in quark mixing predictions. They don't work at all. They just don't work. It's just they don't work. 
All right, particle physicists are delving deep into the standard model of particle physics to better understand quark mixing, which is not accurately predicted. It just doesn't work. Neither does gravity, neither does the speed of light, neither does anything. This is totally wrong, all of it, because they don't understand everything is made of dipoles, and it's the only two particles that exist. Now, I say the quarks that form the nuclei of all atoms around us are known to mix, meaning they occasionally transform from one type to another. However, the exact frequencies of these transformations remains uncertain and intriguingly theoretical predictions don't add up <laughs> to 100%. No, not by any means. Physicists so-and-so from so-and-so and collaborators from Los Alamos, Seattle, and Bern have published new research that takes an important step toward unraveling these mysteries. Well, that, well they should talk to me. I can unravel them for them. i got no problem unraveling that these are made of nothing but dipoles. And according to dipole electron flow theory, there's approximately 1839 of these little dipoles in mass make a proton, stable proton. All right? And then and the, the dark matter goes to the center and the white matter surrounds the whole thing. So we've never seen the dark matter because it's inside there and you don't get inside there because it's always closed up like this. The only time you get inside is if you do what we did using light, or you do that in the gigantic super colliders, they've seen these particles, they just have no idea where they came from, because they're just laying around. We saw them manifest themselves and grow into light. So this is nothing for us, we're way ahead of these people on this. All right, the good things often come in three, standard model particles, with no exception. Organizes element particles in three generations. No, 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 no. Totally wrong. Charm, strange, top, bottom. Think of all these crazy names. It's, 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 all it is is two little particles. And it's like talking, taming the uncertainty. As input for the calculations, the physicists use precise measurements of radioactive decay processes known as nuclear beta decays, the most accurate determination of up-down quark mixing. Up-down quark mixing comes from so-called super-allowed beta decays occurring across the chart of nuclear isotopes. Super-allowed means that the involved nuclei have no spin and therefore easier to describe theoretically. There's no such thing. This is totally, totally wrong. This is what's totally correct, and I can, I'm showing it. They can show all they want. I can show the particles. And my, according to the way I, I see this, is the dark particles create the center core and the white surround it. And I've, see, I've seen this happen in space with the Russians 10 years ago. And these are the only two particles that exist. These two, and they can be separated. We did it, fission and fusion. The two of them together are gluons, which are electrons. Those have a weight to them, and they create heat. All right? Two of these back and forth are photons. They create light. This is heat, and it absorbs into things and comes about. It depends on if they want extra electrons or they don't want them. And everything turns into the same heat if it's all in the same area, because the electrons will find who will take them, and then everything settles into its exact weight. This I am 100% certain of because I worked with weights and measures, and they, they understand that, but they don't know why it happens. Nobody does. I do, because th these are leaving or coming back, and they have a weight. This particular part right there, it, this has no weight. This particular part, however, weighs 0 .0005845 and blah, 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 atomic mass units. 1839 of them make up one proton. We separated those. This has no weight. I just showed you. It just burns the house. This one comes and knocks the house down. It's as simple as that, and it changes everything. All right? And this is what they look like. All matter is constructed this way. Every atom is like this. Some of them are small, like hydrogen, helium, so forth. Some of them are huge, plutonium, uranium, and they just have a ton of particles. So it is, but there, for some reason, and I don't really know why, it's got something to do with resonance frequencies. That they get to a certain point, and everybody says, "All right, I know where I'm supposed to be. You got, you stay where you're supposed to be. All right, and that's called stability." But when you're missing a few, 
and they're, oh, everybody's looking to try to get into that spot or trying to get out of that spot because there's too many, that's instability. When they leave or it attaches or something happens where it calms down, everybody sits in their own place, you go back to stability. That's how you create molecules. Molecules are created from unstable atomic structures and then they gain stability to become molecules by, by taking two of these, let's say. All right, you got two of these. And you want to make one element. But you need this one and this one. And they come together, and this one has a couple of extra, and it goes, clip. okay, now we're good. And they hang together like that. Now it's stable. Now if you put acid in there or salts or something, and it nibbles in and breaks into that structure, now you have a solvent. You have something that it, you just turned it into something that it, it's not stable anymore. There's too many electrons or not enough electrons. It's all about chemistry. You got to understand chemistry to be able to do this. You just can't. Chemistry is, um, and it, it, there's never been any talk about this isotopes. I started talking about isotopes about six months ago, saying they don't understand isotopes, and they don't. Now all of a sudden they're talking about isotopes. Now we understand isotopes. We're, we're really figuring it out. It's amazing, my friends. Amazing.